Hi, my name is Matt and I'm glad you're here with me today. If you've taken a look at any of my recent videos, you know that I've been working on a Viking chest. And the reason that it's not here in front of me is because it's not yet finished. So I haven't given up on it, but there's lots of carving left to do. I've started to work out the intricate details on the front. And I feel like I'm pretty far along, but you know, it's still a long way to go. And I didn't want to show you something that was halfway done or nearly completed. Uh, because that just that wouldn't be fair. So I want to make sure that you see the final product uh, when it's actually done. And in the meantime, we're going to look at this sword. I posted a visual review recently, but today we're going to look at it a little more in depth. In their next generation line of swords, Albion doesn't attempt to reproduce exact copies of certain well-known historical blades, such as the River Witham Knightly Sword, but rather crafts the blade type pommel and cross guard of historical blades from a certain time period with similar characteristics. In short, the next generation line achieves a very high degree of accuracy without trying to create a replica of a particular museum piece or well-known find. And they do have a product line for that though. Now the Reeve is an arming sword, which means it's a one-handed sword used during the high medieval period. It has a very long uh, fuller, which extends almost to the tip of the blade, sort of disappears at about one or two inches. So if we take a couple of measurements here, the overall length, uh, 36 inches, just a, just a quarter of an inch, a little less, maybe an eighth of an inch less than that. And that's pretty close to what the website says at 35.875 inches. Blade length 30.25 is what I get there. Like other Albion swords, uh, this sword has a satin finish and it's nice because it's not overly reflective. Uh, the grip is campaign worn, that's what they call it. It's sort of a light brown. Uh, interesting thing about it is it might come in various shades, I suppose. This is the Albion Knight that I reviewed and it was also ordered as a light brown uh, grip, but you can see there's obviously fairly large difference between the two. Uh, the knight is much darker. The pommel is a Brazil nut pommel and this is one of my favorite types of pommels because it does remind you of sort of the uh, the Vikings, the late Viking age. It doesn't really have any issues with the way the guard is fitted onto the blade. Uh, sometimes there will be a, a small gap between the guard and the blade but this one actually fits quite nicely so no problems there. Uh, the grip is not simply flat, but it actually it bows in the center. It widens just a little bit, which really adds to the comfort in hand. It is uh, very easy to maneuver. It's very well balanced. It's easy to stop and start. So just to sum it all up, I think this sword is one of the better arming swords that Albion sells and uh, I highly recommend it. Sometimes it seems like so much more can be said but we want to keep this relatively short and in addition to that I should be outside pretty soon cutting with this so we'll see how that works. Alright so thank you for watching the review of the Albion Reeve. Since you made it this far if you're not already subscribed please subscribe.